Good morning friends. We are with a video on pivot table in Excel. So many of us have been heard about pivot table in Excel. So the definition of pivot table is pivot table are one of the Excel's most powerful feature. So pivot table about allows you to extract data from a significantly large data according to your wish so some general guidelines which we have to follow while using pivot table function first data should have numerical significance that means data should be numerical based it should not have empty rows in middle so it should be well trimmed data it should have title to every column data should be captured and presented in pivot table to be predefined so before finding pivot table you need to sit and predefine what are the things which what are the exactly the reports which we need to generate and we can generate multiple pivot tables for same mother data and pivot table can work real time that means if i have a half data and make a pivot table and in the course of time if i go on adding the data the pivot table will be updated and similarly the readings will be changed so let's consider a simple example of a chocolate seller firm so the firm has an excel sheet which has its customers so it includes four variables first type of chocolate second customer who bought the chocolate third quantity of chocolates the customer bought per transaction and month of transaction so let us see the data so when we see the data here we have a data which has type of chocolate so we have five types of chocolates a b c d e then customer name we have around 50 customers month all the months and quantity of chocolates they bought in a transaction so now this is the so we will delete this delete sheet eight delete okay so now we have a data of around 1000 quantities so if i have a question he let me ask that how many chocolates b are been sold in a total year so if there would not be pure table we would have to manually find all the b filter it out and sum the quantity but this can be done easily right select here insert pivot table so if we select a cell our whole table will be selected in new worksheet okay so here we have four columns so if we put quantity variable in value so we get sum now if we put customers name in a row so we get name of customers and sum of quantity so we have around from 3 to 50 that means 50 customers and grand total chocolates sold per year is 487325 pieces so now 
if you want this data to be month wise so in month you can put columns so here abhijit a customer in january he bought 349 in february he bought 353 chocolates and similarly in december he did not buy any chocolate and grand total is 12543 now if So if these blanks are to be filled we can write here for error for empty cell let's show it zero and okay so the empty cells will take the value zero so this is a data which has total of same but month wise now if we filter chocolate so if we talk only about a chocolate so this is a uh, data for a chocolate if we do it all we do it for all now this is a particular way of using the data now i have another way to show it like if i take chocolates here and customer here so by the type of chocolate i can check the sales of chocolate so my production department or my vendor if i order the chocolates i will see when the chocolates are sold much and i'll stock accordingly so this data will help me stock the type of chocolate similarly we can also or uh, have this month and customer name here so which customer bought which type of chocolate can be shown here this is another data which can be helpful so i have 50 customers here and type of chocolate so by changing the positions of these columns we can change the data and get the needed results from it like if i filter it for january i get a data where it says a chocolates were sold to aditya afroz akash these people and the total was 8614 chocolates of a in january we also have multiple selections here like january february march and now one more thing if i remove filter all okay if i have customers in x row and chocolates here so if i want to group this customers select this and group them so if i want to group customers i get grand total of groups independently so i will control z it so if i have a customer from similar area i can group it out and area wise i can find the chocolate consumption so this was basics about pivot table and if you want any assistance do comment and like the channel and check out my other videos on geozebra and excel to know more thank you